Good morning. It is my pleasure to be a presenter at the second international conference on the future of education. The title of my presentation is U3A and COVID-19 Time, Erasmus Plus Case Studies. What is UGA or A3A? The University Academy of the Third Age is an international movement whose aims are the education and stimulation of retired members of the community. There is no universally accepted model of U3A. Its original conception in France as an extramural university activity was significantly modified in the United Kingdom, where it was recognized that the most people of retirement age have something to contribute and the emphasis has been on sharing without former links to traditional universities. The most popular courses delivered by U3A or Academy of Third Age are Art, Classical Studies, Conversation, Computers, Crafts, Debate, Drama, History, Languages, Literature, Music, Science, Social Sciences, Philosophy. But there are also much more activities offered by U3A as games, health, fitness and leisure, especially countryside walks, theatre or concert clubs, travel clubs and dance. But we should not uh, recognize, we should remember that the people who are taking part in meetings, they are mainly interested in having a common time for a cup of coffee and they would like to spend some time talking about things they are interested in. It will be the short history of U3A in Poland or statistics in Poland in, in the year 2018. The statistics were done for almost 600 U3As in Poland. The number of U3As at the moment was 640. And uh, as you can see, there are voivodeships that there are very many. Um, U3As and there are voivodeships, there are not very many, but uh, the main goal are the same, educational activity, integration and activation of older people in order to improve the quality of life and increase their particip participation in social life. Here is the information, what kind of organization model they've got. So, uh, as you see, mainly um, Polish U3A have a diverse uh, organization and legal model form. Uh, the majority operates as uh, um, institutions which are NGOs. And there are very many U3As uh, located at universities and uh, on more than 17 percentage uh, are located at cultural centers. What is educational offer of Polish U3A? The task of the Polish U3A is primarily to organize and conduct lectures, seminars, regular classes, including workshops, courses, interest groups, cultural and artistic activities, as well as uh, social activities, uh, people in a need. Of uh, the U3As that took part in the statistical server surveys, 575 units had lectures and seminars in their educational offer. What is interesting, nearly 70% 70, 70 of U3As offered students computer classes. We should underline that the attendance of listeners is really very, very high. The average is 63% and nine universities declare that they have got 100 attendance. Let's have a look how it is um, divided uh, to the forms of conducted educational offer. As you can see, lectures and seminars are dominations and also culture and artistic activities. Um, the search, uh, there are courses, workshops and interest groups. And the less, there are social activities on demand. The most popular published U3A, U3A offer 
It's in connection with cultural and artistic events, and this kind of events they are offered by um, 550 units. Seniors are mainly interested in trips and tourism, tourism and uh, they also uh, love going to cinema, theater, museums or other cultural institutions. Um, on a picture you can see a group of our seniors going to Vienna for, uh, for a theater and also for organizing city games. I will tell about it later. Polish UTA students by age, as you can see, the majority, they are over 60. It's 71.9. Uh, 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 and uh, the second group uh, is people over 76, which is also quite high number. Um, Polish UTA students by educational level uh, are mainly Main, the main group is uh, people who has got education from secondary schools, that's more than 50 percentage. Um, and so the second group is high school. Polish students by status on the labor market, uh, retired people and pensioners, there are very many of them, uh, so altogether is um, more than 95%. Uh, working people is just uh, about 4 percentage and are employed very, very small number. How, what can we say about fees, how people they, they pay for it or not? In our case, our Academy of Third Age is not paid at all, but it's really very rare. Usually people, they pay entry fee or membership fee, tuition or basic fee, or they, there is a payment for option classes um, and partial payment for group events. Here is an example how we have been working at the uh, Gdańsk University of Technology uh, in a blended mode. It means we've got a special learning management system to support regular face-to-face -face meeting. So here's information about courses we delivered since 2012 and uh, also we've got links to main presentation about our activities on this page. Let's go to case studies based on Erasmus Plus projects. Projects are dedicated to Europe and um, participants from Europe and uh, it is just example of the project uh, we just finished, Strategic Partnership for Digitally Excluded. You can go um, here from for website or for Facebook group, so it's usually obligatory to prepare a special um, website and Facebook group. And here are activities that were organized in 2019. Um, an example activity we organized in Poland and Gdańsk, it's learning, training and teaching. Uh, our participants took part also in so-called city games and they learned how to prepare such a city games. Up till now, there are several countries that they also used uh, such a form of working with seniors. Uh, on the right hand side, you, you can have uh, a, you can see a picture from Spade ebook, which is a kind of summarizing activities we did during three years of our project. The second project is seniors at ICT, uh, and in 2019 we've got a, a training in Gdańsk and training in Barcelona. So usually we are making common photo of participants, so you can have a look here. And uh, as well, we've got website and Facebook group, so you are welcome to go there and to read more about this project. The third project, I will concentrate a little bit longer, it's strategic partnership for older people's inclusion into the digital world. We've got also website and Facebook group, and we decided to um, disseminate information uh, about the project um, in this uh, newsletter 
So I would recommend this newsletter for people who would like to know a little bit more about what's going on in the subject of T3A. And here is information we prepared especially for for a number in, in, the, in, the, in the year 2019. So if you are going here, you can have a look at actual issues, which were the last one was prepared in June. It is U3A signpost. Here is an example how we manage our activities during the COVID time and the special workshop that originally should be prepared by partners from Portugal. It was prepared in, in a team of Polish and uh, Portuguese people. We delivered this workshop in May 2020 and they are just screenshots from our Zoom meetings. And here is City Games on YouTube. So you can go then and have a look what we have prepared for this project in YouTube. So the film is like this one. Here is another <clears throat> possibility to work during COVID time and uh, we have been using uh, Zoom instead of face-to-face -face meeting during lockdown. Have a look at references I used for preparation uh, this uh, pre my presentation and I do hope we can contact me if you'd like just to have more information about our activities on Facebook. Thank you very much for your attention.